What are you doing with your hair? Oh, I'm growing a righteous four-length mullet. Just like Thrash did back in the day. Business in the front, month-long pate in the back. And all over the house. Also, it looks like a giant, gross, itchy knot. Sure does, Swister. I'm not brushing it, trimming it, nor washing it. Look. If you want to grow out your hair, you have to take care of it. I beg to differ. I think nature will take its course. If any part of my glorious mane becomes damaged, it will depart my doom in a healthy molt. Just like Bubbles found out when it was her turn to clean the bathroom. Huh? Ah! The horror. These are exactly the kinds of things you do that cause problems. No, you're exactly the kinds of things that cause problems. It appears that Buttercup has super lice. Super lice? I haven't seen a case this bad since the 80s. The 80s? Yes, that's what killed the mullet craze. Mullet craze? And if Buttercup went for the full floor-length mullet, I'm afraid there's little hope. Dang it, Utonium! You should have seen it coming. What do we do, Professor? There's only one thing we can do. I have to send you girls in. I've made some modifications to this all-purpose utility vehicle. I've attached a bug bomb to the back. You'll be shrunk down to the size of the super lice and fly into Buttercup's hair. From there, go to the base of her cowlick, drop the bomb, and get out. And girls, don't forget, they're super lice. That's why I'm sending in superheroes. Be careful, be focused. Oh, and I packed you some kangaroo yum-yums and juice boxes. But don't eat them until later. Okay. Girls, good luck. We're all counting on you. 